Welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be showing you a quick and easy Tex-Mex style layered dip that are, is perfect for get-togethers. My daughter came to me and asked me if I could make this for, for her work get-together that she has coming up tomorrow. And I said I'd be more than happy to and I thought I would bring you guys along while I make this dip. So the ingredients that we are going to need today are three packages of taco seasoning. Any taco seasoning will do. I just happened to grab this one. It was on sale. You're going to need a two pounds of ground meat that I've already gone ahead and browned off and added two packages of my taco seasoning to and I did that according to the package directions and I've set it aside to cool. You're going to need four cups of shredded Mexican style cheese. I have a three green onions that I've sliced up. I have a can of black olives. These are totally optional. If you don't like them, you can leave them off. I have a four ounce can of fire roasted diced green chilies just because I like them. I have a two cans of Rotel tomatoes that I've gone ahead and drained. And these are the original, but if you don't want quite that spicy, the mild would work. And if these aren't hot enough, they have a habanero flavor that's really good. You're going to need 16 ounces of cream cheese, 16 ounces of sour cream, and a bag or a head of shredded lettuce and I've already gone ahead and washed this off and allowed it to, to dry and I think that is all we're going to need so let me get some of these ingredients moved out of our way and we'll go ahead and start assembling our sour cream layer. Alright for our cream cheese layer all I've done is put my cream cheese in the bowl and I'm simply going to add in all of my sour cream and I did go ahead and let my sour cream come to room temperature just so it's a little bit easier for us to incorporate into the sour cream. Whoa, we almost wore it that time. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to actually use my mixer to mix all that together. But before I do, I'm going to go ahead and add my one packet that I have remaining of my taco seasoning. And this is kind of why I like this dish so much. It adds so much flavor to the cream cheese and sour cream. Alright, so let me go ahead and get this mixed up, and that's all there is to it. It's very quick. Let me go ahead and scrape down the edges of my bowl and get what I had on my spatula incorporated in. Alright guys, so I've got this all mixed up, and you do want to make sure you check the bottom of your bowl to make sure that there are no dried spices clinging to the bottom. But other than that, this is done, and this tastes so good. It's kind of hard to tell that there's actually sour cream in here, which I kind of like, because while I do like sour cream, I think a lot of it, after a while, gets to be a little bit overwhelming. And I'm actually going to just be putting this into a disposable pan. That way, she, my daughter doesn't have to worry about bringing my container back home. And this is a 11 and a half by 9 and 3 fourth inch pan, and it's about 2 inches tall. So all I'm going to do is start spreading my mixture into my pan. Alright guys, I think that is pretty good. So let's go ahead and get this spread out. And while I'm doing this, I would like to remind you guys of the Gamers and Geeks playlist. It is a community-driven playlist that J. Death and I have been doing on our channels for a little bit over a year now. And if you would like to be a part of it, it's really easy. All you have to do is go out and make a cooking video, and then once you've done that, post it to your channel. And then let either JPEG or I know, either in the comment section of our latest cooking videos, or if you're a part of our Discord service, you can let us know over there as well. So you do want to make sure you get in here and get into these corners. There we go. That looks really good. And then the next thing we're going to do is top it with our hamburger. And this is why you kind of want to let your hamburger cool down so it doesn't melt your sour cream and cream cheese. Alright, that looks like about the last of it there. I'm just going to simply spread this over into this corner so it gets a little bit of love and attention. And I did kind of lightly press the meat down so it will adhere to the bottom layer there. 
and I think that is pretty good, that one. All right, our next layer is gonna be our tomatoes, and I'm gonna go ahead, and I did let these drain. I think they're, they're pretty good, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start spreading these around as well, and you just wanna loosely spread these around until you've got tomato, at, hopefully in every bite. All right, there we go, there are our tomatoes. And the next thing I am going to add is going to be my cheese. Actually, no. The next thing I'm going to add is going to be my green onions. I think I'm going to go ahead and put those down. And I may go ahead and save just a little bit of these to put on the top. I don't want too many of them, but I do want to get like little bites of onion here and there. And I think that's actually going to be pretty good. And now I'm going to go ahead and go in with my cheese and top this off. There we go. We've got about four cups of cheese there. I just took out a big, healthy, generous amount out of that bag. Make sure I get it all the way over to the edges. And I think that looks pretty good to me. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my olives now. And I'm going to let those drain in the same container that I had the tomatoes in. Just like that. There we go. And that'll just take a couple of seconds. And while I'm letting that drain, I'm going to go ahead and start sprinkling over my lettuce. And you just want to do like a thin layer of the lettuce. There we go. That is going to take all of our lettuce that was in the bowl there, which was about one bag of shredded lettuce. And just like all the other layers, I've kind of been gently pushing them down just to make sure that they all adhere to each other. And that piece is pretty big, so I'm going to get rid of it. And the next thing I'm going to do is start adding in our green onions. So let me grab a spoon. Or not green onions, our green peppers here. And I'm just going to kind of lightly sprinkle them around. I don't want a whole bunch of these. And I especially don't want like a whole bunch of them in one spot. Now these are the mild ones. So they're not going to really add any more heat to this. But I think they're just kind of, I like the brightness of them and the flavor. It's going to add a nice little bite every once in a while when you're dipping into this. Alright guys, well I think that is going to do it for the peppers and the last thing I'm going to do is just start uh, sprinkling on my black olives. And again, if you don't like black olives, you can certainly leave these out. But I do really like them. So I'm going to go ahead and add it in. Or if you were taking this to a party, you could certainly leave them on just half. And if you didn't want to do this for a party, you could certainly half this recipe and just have like a, a little half of it in your refrigerator for family and friends when they come over. And this will last several days in your refrigerator. And I think that's probably going to just about do it. So I have a few little olives left over, which is fine. I will sit there and nibble those in a salad later. And I think I'm going to go ahead and just top this off with a little bit more of my green onion. Alright guys, so that is it for the assembly. And now all I need to do is wrap this up with either some saran wrap or aluminum foil and let it set up in the refrigerator at least four to five hours or until overnight. Now I did go ahead and make a smaller little batch of this. And once it's firmed up, I will go ahead and show you guys what this whole dip looks like. So I will see you in a few hours. All right, guys, our dip has been in the refrigerator for a couple of hours now, and it's nice and firm. So let's go ahead and get in there and give it a bite, see what we think about it. I'm going to make sure we get all the different layers on one bite. I really like this dip, guys. I like the addition of the sour cream and cream cheese layer with the taco seasoning in it makes it completely different than any other Tex-Mex layered dip out there. So I hope you guys give this one a try. If you do, let me know what you think of it. And if you like this video, leave me a comment down below. And as always, remember to check out the Gamers and Geeks playlist, as well as some of my other cooking playlists. I will leave links down in the description to them. But for now, thank you all so very much for joining me today. I've been Vault Girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.
Thank <laughs> you.